Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, previously, we did uh, uh, this uh, railing exercise, and we also um, uh, we also tried line-based um, family. So today we're going to try a different method again. Okay. So um, today we're going to so uh, model it using adaptive family. So this is this is it. So if we can change the size of each one and also when we place this it's very similar to line based but it's a um, it's adaptive family okay so let's let's do it so first I'm going to create a new adaptive family okay so in this adaptive family we are going to so this will be one part of that um, railing so it'll be uh, so we need two uh, points. So, and we're going to make the, them adaptive point, and then create a spline and make it reference line. Then we need some profile. Okay, so create one point. Let's just play one point. So I'm going to just uh, place draw on face and place it on this reference line, and then um, I'm going to actually. I change select this point and change this measurement type to segment length so uh, because I'm going to have a little gap there so um, I'm going to just type in 20 so this point will be 20 millimeter away from this point so maybe I'll just move this a little bit closer to here to this point okay so now we have this one this point and then we're going to place a draw a profile on this point so reference rectangle uh, draw on word plan set word plan I pick this pick the word plan of this point so tab tab so this one so the horizontal word plan okay let me try it again so tab tab so this one so see okay so let's do it again tab tab and pick and then I'm going to just draw a shape so previously we uh, we modeled those uh, post I think it's 150 by 150 so I'm going to just yeah all good and then I'll just move this one to the midpoint uh, so sometimes so you will see it's a little bit hard to pick pick the midpoint of this line so what you can do is you can click on this go to the top so this is more like a floor plan but it's actually a 3d view so now you can easily pick the mid point and then move this onto the point so now we have one profile okay so then we just need to so we can copy this one okay so select this point um, let me just change the scale a little bit so we can yeah it's easier to easier to see the points now so select this point together with this profile and the CC and then select this point again pick new host and pick this reference line again and then I'm going to select this point so this time I'm going to change this to segment length again and but change this to uh, the measure from beginning to end so now we can just type in another 20 mil so of course oh hell looks like um, why this one's vertical um, that's fine uh, let's just rotate it 90 degree so oh, oh good and then we just need to move this to this side okay so once again go to top and then we can move this down to here so now we have uh, this we can create a form so if we create a form it will and then choose this solid okay so we just need to type in so we can we can um, type in a, a, a we can actually create a parameter so for example I'll just create a H for height instance OK and OK so now we can just control it um, for example 750 not good and then once again select this profile create a form solid um oh, the other direction that's that's okay <laughs> we just link this to so that's option so you can you can use the negative offset 
So maybe I'll just do this. It's a, it's a little bit easier. So we can just change the positive to zero and uh, link use the negative offset link to a H. It will go up. The other op option for this is you can actually uh, you can rotate this point. So current is uh, 90. So if you tap 270, you will rotate to the other um, direction. Okay, so it's up to you. So let me change this to 90. So now we have those posts, and then we can just create horizontal members. So for this horizontal member, I'm going to just directly draw some line between these two elements. So I'm going to pick, place a point. So you can also, I believe, you can also directly create a, a draw lines, use 3D snapping or uh, maybe draw on face, but I prefer I prefer to do it this way. So I prefer just place point first. Okay, place point, draw on face, and pick the midpoint of this. And once again, another one. So here. So now we I have these two points. Select them and create a spline and make it reference line. So now I'm going to use this as a reference line and create two horizontal member. So it will be a, a sweep. Okay, so once again, I'm going to create a place one point, draw on face on this reference line, and I'm going to draw rec reference rectangle, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this work plan, and I'm going to draw two profiles. So this time, 100 by 100, and also I'm going to move this to the center, and I'm going to just copy this one down. So um, I'm not quite sure, maybe it's roughly this, okay? And then we can just select this reference plan, oh sorry, reference lines, and this, so control select, and also control select this uh, path and create form. So now we have the horizontal man member. Uh, looks like this, this one need to go down a little bit. So maybe move it down by 25, that's better. So now we need a vertical in the middle. So I'll just do it again. So draw on a point, draw on face, and I'm going to pick the midpoint on this. Okay, so then create a spline, make a reference line. And then once again, I'm going to place a point on this reference line, draw a re reference rectangle, draw a word plan, set word plan, pick this word plan, and then I'll just draw a rectangle. Uh, a box, uh, sorry, a uh, square shape, so it will be same, uh, 100 by 100. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard, so you can just r roughly, roughly uh, create it and then use dimension to use the uh, use dimension to adjust. So use tab to select individual edge. Yep, all good, and then we just need to move it back by 50. And that's it. So we can select this profile and this pro uh, path, create a form. So that's that's it. Okay. So now let's have a test. So I'm going to just move this adapt, uh, adapted point to here. So okay. So it looks like we have some issue. So this is because we create this one, and then um, because. We only use one profile for this, so this some sometimes this happens when you only use one profile. So it's very easy to fix. Just let's dissolve this. So we still have ah oh, maybe sorry delete this as well. So I should de delete it instead of dissolve, but that's fine. Uh, we can just select select here everything here. So that's one point and for reference line CC. Select this point again, pick new host, and then pick on this reference line again. So now this time I'm going to drag this point to the top. Don't worry about this. Just drag this point to the, bo the the bottom, and then we can select this po profile, this one, and you can actually uh, create a form without this reference, uh, without this path, I believe. So let's create a form, and then that's it. So now let's try again. Move this. Good. So, and um, that's 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 it. That's part of this uh, that um, um, 
the rating. So it's just uh, like, like one panel. Okay, so the next step is we need to create another adaptive family. Okay, so in this one, uh, still two adaptive points. Adaptive, spline, make a reference line. So now with this reference line selected, and then you just click on this default path. So now you can go here, so go to layout. Okay, so we're going to ch change this from fixed number to maximum distance. Okay, and then we're going to create a parameter for this maximum distance. So I'm going to call it max. max distance instance and OK and OK and now I'm going to go back to this panel load this into this one and then place it on this point and on this point so now select it, select it and click on repeat and this is it so now let's have a have a test so if, if I go back go to family types change this to for for example 1.5 meter okay so that's it and then if i move this point oops okay so it looks like we need to go back to this panel family and check this always vertical so load this back override all good so now let's have a test so if i um if i go to if i create a new project and load this I'm going to load this one into the project and so this will be this will be this uh, so see general it's a generic model but it's adaptive okay so it will be very similar to the line based family we did last time but um, how we model this uh, form it's it's a uh, it's more uh, a mass exercise Okay, so let's let me do it again. Component one point two point. So I think you can even do it. Uh, use it to place it on um, on the wall. Maybe Let, let's try see if we, we can do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, and also you you can. Uh, see these points you can you can actually um, turn them off so you can go edit family go here so select select this divided path and you can go here and turn it off turn the nodes off so now if you load this into the project you won't see these points and also um what else let me think Okay, so yeah, so if we, if you need to add something, so for example, you need to add the 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 base, you just need to so same, just place a point and um, draw a profile on this point, so something like this. Okay, so I'll just roughly do it. Okay, so I um, maybe this go maybe further, and then select this one, select the profile. Oh, sorry select the path so you need to tab a couple times not this one this is a divided path tab again so see this is the reference line control select and create a form so now you can you have a base okay so um yeah i think that's it let's load this into the project so override yeah that's it see yes okay so yeah, it looks like yeah, probably you want to uh, in you what you can do is you, you can uh, try to adjust the height the height of that post. Or well, let me check see if I can because this is generic model. This is generic model. Maybe we can join them. Uh, no. So maybe we need what we need to do is we need to go to this family. So depending on the height of the, that base, so when we create this form, so we can just type in. So for example, if I want to uh, lift it up, oh sorry, negative, 
yeah so you can just do it this way so negative 150 so it will start from 100 above this, this point so when you load this into that family and it will be lift up and, and of course this one's not 150 so if I type if I just select this reference line typing 150 oops something's not right it looks like uh, it's because we only have one profile so yeah this happens so it's it's okay we can let's delete this so I'm going to just adjust this one and I'm going to create another one so to make sure it won't happen again okay so so at this point pick new host and then and I'll, I'm going to just select this oh, one so because this is just a extrusion so maybe we don't really need to pick the path so uh, oh actually I think we can make it curved as well so maybe it, let, let me just select this reference line so I'll create a swipe instead of a extrusion and then I'll just drag this point to this end and you can also you can also type in instead of drag you can just type in one so yeah that's it and um, now what I'm going to do is uh, let's make it curved okay so H H so um, I want to place a point draw on face onto this reference line and then select this point okay and then make this point a, dri a driving so and again I want to make this point uh, adaptive and I want to change the oh hell I want to one, two, three. Um, I think that's okay. So maybe let's just number this as three, number three. And if I move this, so you will see. Okay, so it will. Yeah, I think this is quite nice. So HR. So and also you will see this one follow this uh, curve. Okay. So let's load this into the project. And overwrite. So um, pick the first one. Okay, so now let's have a test. So CS create similar. So one point, starting point, end point, and then the, the mid, mid, midpoint to control the curve. Yep. Let's do another one. So CS. Uh, maybe let me do this I'll go to ground floor I'll DL draw a arc okay so a component so starting point here end point here midpoint roughly here so that's it yeah I think that this is quite quite nice <laughs> Okay, um, that's it. Um, I will upload this family for you so you can just have a look and it's very simple and I think it's quite um, uh, uh, should be useful I think. So just to show you some examples well you can um, when you when next time you need to model something you can just have a, a, a one more uh, method okay so and also I want to say to everyone it's almost 2022 happy new year everyone see you next time bye